everybody it's Sharon and this is vlog number four and I'm upstairs in my studio which I am slowly getting back together after our daughter moved out and what I'm doing today is I'm going to be winding mini skeins and showing you how I do it and I have a helper today yarn boy unwilling helper he's unwilling oh yeah he's totally unwilling he's like why am I doing this <laughs> it's hot up here I have to stand here with this big camera for 20 minutes well it's gonna be longer if you keep yakking okay fine anyway so Rich is helping me record how I wind mini skeins so these mini skeins are for the Advent Calendar Club, which I'm so sorry, it is sold out. And I'm not gonna be opening up anymore because doing these mini skeins is a lot of work, as you will see. So, Yarn Boy, come on over here. And I want you to focus the camera on this contraption right here. Okay. okay. So that is a, that what uh, Rich is focusing on is a skein winder, and I got the skein winder from a friend, and it's actually handmade. This skein winder is made by a friend of mine. His, her uncle is, can make anything. He's like kind of amazing. She said. And he made this skein winder for me, and I paid, I think, $65 for it. And I love it because it's perfect to put my skeins on that I'm going to be winding mini skeins from. If you're wondering why I have switched to black and white right now, it's because I don't want you to see the colors if you are a member of the Advent Calendar Club. So I have switched to black and white so you can't see this beautiful color that is on the skein winder right now. This here is the Umbrella Swift. It's called the, it's called the Ultra Umbrella by Schacht. And this thing is amazing. As you can just see, I just I had it lying on its side and now I put it upright and it's open. But we're going to use it lying on its side. So there's this little handle over here, this little ring. And I can pull that out and then turn this into a skein winder, which is amazing. And I've had this Ultra Umbrella for several years now and I use it almost every day because I wind a lot of yarn, guys. Okay, so I'm going to transfer the yarn from this homemade skein winder, which actually has a really nice little eye down here. And I'm going to transfer the yarn onto this ultra umbrella. And I'm going to make a tiny little mini skein of five grams. So, now, what I'm going to do is I'm going to, I marked this, see there's this little, um, on the shaft here, I made some markers with a Sharpie. So I'm opening it up to where I have the, have it marked. And then I'm gonna tighten it. Okay. Now, I'm gonna get the yarn on here and I'm going to go around once. And then I usually take a piece of tape to hold it on, because otherwise it'll just come off when I start to spin it. So I'm putting the tape on here to hold the yarn on. And then, most importantly, right here, Rich, there is a counter on the side of my ultra umbrella. So I am spinning that in order to get to zero because I'm going to be counting, 
got it at zero. So I'm going to be counting 25 revolutions to get the five grams. Okay, I'm gonna start. So let's start. And as you can see, the skein winder is going and the ultra umbrella is going. I'm finished, I did 25 revolu revolutions, and you can see I'm back here where I started, where my tape is. So, I am just going to now cut this, take the other end with the tape, and so I have my two ends here. I'm going to cross those ends, then I'm going to go under, cross them again, and then I'm going to tie it off. With just a nice overhand knot, which works perfectly well. And then I may cut off those little ends just to make it neater. And there we go, I have a mini skein. So now I have to loosen this ultra umbrella. Take the mini skein off. Can you see that? And I have my mini. Hmm. Now, I'm going to wind that mini into a tiny little skein. So I'm going to wind, and then transfer it on my fingers. Okay, there's the skein. Tighten it up. Put it through. And there is a five gram mini. All right, so that was one. I have to make almost 500 of these <laughs> for the club. It is a little crazy. So I have gotten off to a pretty good start. I'm dyeing five skeins a week and I am doing one skein a day, which takes me about an hour to to do the 20 off of each skein, and 20 lucky people will get a different color mini skein every day in the month of December for Advent, plus a full skein at the end on Christmas Day. Yarn Boy, you were awesome. Thank you so much you. for helping me out. I really appreciate it. You are very sweet. How long did this take about? I don't know. 10 it's minutes? Really slow. Can I keep hitting my head? <laughs> See, it's slow. Yes, it is. Well, you made the ceiling. Well, I couldn't help it. That's the way it was shaped. Well, you made it. And no, 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 it was shaped like that. But look how beautiful the ceiling is in this room. Mm -hmm. Can you show pictures of how pretty? And then that the skylight. Yeah. You didn't put the skylight in, but you no, boxed I it off. Done, uh, the walls. And it's it's coating with a single coat of paint. Mm hmm. Okay. You're very clever too. All right, I'm going to end this vlog. I hope you guys enjoyed it. I enjoyed making it. I don't think Yarn Boy enjoyed himself very much, but I really appreciate it. I asked our son to do it, and he's like, he was taking a nap. He's a busy guy. He's go, he goes, goes to school full time, and he works. So not full time. He goes to school half time, and he works. So he was taking a nap, and I just didn't want to bother him. I think he's actually gone to school by now. So, he's gone. He's gone. Yeah. So thank you so much for doing it for me, honey. Okay. You guys have a great day. Happy knitting. Okay. Cheers. <laughs>